Hey Zolivas, this is Super Zombie God Barbecue, and today we're going to be talking about PCC. PCC is going at a very, very rapid rate, and we are in a Divas PCC. We have rewards here, which I know you guys probably know already because this video is a little bit late, but I am in the midst of grinding, and I've done a stream this morning with Awesome Kill Miss Kill and Edward, which is great, and we had an amazing amount of people there for. Well, basically one of the last PCCs of the tier. We've got Brie Bella, and we also have Charlotte as well. And obviously Brie Bella's biggest strength is her speed, whereas power is Charlotte's biggest uh, asset. But it does look like there is Brie Bella who is winning. And it may be because it's just too strong at the top for all the people who are grinding for that card. As well as that, you do have the benefit that Miz, who is a legendary card, was available on RTG, whereas Booker T was only available on a PCC. More people are going to have the RTG card, so they're probably going to go for the pro of him. As well as the fact that you do have... Uh, although, I'm very surprised by this. They've offered the WWE Universe, which is a one stat, and the two stats losing. I, I'm confused by that because the two stat card is far better. On top of that, we also have the fact that Nikki Bella is on the epic side and she is a far better diva than Bailey is overall. Other than that, there's literally no point of even discussing the rest because you know, that's just a pathetic uh, comparison and the, the super rare makes no difference. I mean, Ric Flair is far better than Bray Wyatt, but whatever. Uh, so it's kind of surprising because I expected people to go for Brock, although you've got to think back to the first PCC and maybe it was a bit different at that point when we had uh, Survivor Series and TLC as well, the Roman was basically voted to be the winner of that PCC. So maybe people have gone after Roman because they're a bigger fan of Roman than they are Brock Lesnar. And this is the ultimate overall look of PCC and where sometimes PCC can go the wrong way to what most people want it to go. Alas, we are talking about Brie Bella. Brie Bella is winning by a landslide. 400,000 already. It's almost crazy. Uh, let's play a couple of games now and we'll get into it. This is my deck. Now, this is something you guys can use. This is something that took a lot of planning and I've used in a previous PCC guide, which I'm going to link into this video. It's definitely worth you paying attention to that because this is something that we in Team UK and basically you want to be bang on on Survivor Tier. So literally, as you can see there, Survivor Tier, I've just reached it. And the reason why you want to do that is so you're facing lower deck opponents. Otherwise, with Daniel Bryan in the squad and also everyone having pretty much pro divas everywhere, you could potentially be in a big, big problem if you have an issue with um, your divas or uh, potentially have uh, no event cards. So what I've done is I've built up from a couple of spare Survivor Pros I've got two PCC demons. Now I've not used my other PCC demons because I leveled up the others too quickly and I leveled them up too far. These are the legendary singles I've got here. So what I've got is a fully leveled uh, Triple H pro single legendary card. I have a Rusev Pro which I have uh, balanced his, uh, his stats out. Uh, I've also done that to Bubba Ray as well, which is there, and both of these are level 18. So if you want to have that, it's level 18 you want to get to, but try and balance their stats out. Otherwise, level 17 with OP stats in certain areas is great. For example, one with power and toughness, one with speed and charisma as a prop, for example, would be great. Uh, and right back here, I've used a low-level legendary card, slightly leveled up, just so he gets to a certain point, so he's in survivor tier. And then you've got my, the event, Nikki Bella. Now you can use normal legendary cards, but that sometimes is a tiny bit painful. And you also have... I mean, if you've got a Survivor Pro Diva that you're not using regularly, then this probably is uh, slightly redundant. But this is great. And a taggable Diva. You cannot state that enough. A taggable Diva, diva maybe a Miss Pro Legendary, a single Survivor Diva. Alternatively, a Epic Pro Diva that I've got with Naomi as well. So let's play a couple of games. Uh, it does sometimes go a little bit wrong. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but I've won 95% of the games that I've been playing in this. And it's only when the game kind of sends me up to, like, to the upper tier. There seems to be some kind of glitch with how exactly it's used. I'm just going to put it in this, and there's Bubba Ray. And what you should be facing is all legendary pros. Now you can use your a different type of deck which has a survivor single in it and use a legendary event card or a legendary card as well but I would probably suggest staying away from that and just sticking to this uh, because sometimes you can push yourself too far up anything above just being on survivor tier is very very risky and potentially could mean that half the games you're facing 
uh, Survivor event pros like Ric Flair, Undertaker, uh, Kalisto, etc. So let's just get past another couple of games. I have dropped down the rankings. I was in the top 100 this morning, but I was going to get a couple of things sorted. Oh, if you guys didn't know, I um, got my phone was completely smashed. I dropped it and literally got it in the corner. And I went out today and I actually have myself a brand new iPhone 6. So I am happy. Um, although I now need to get myself sorted out for Touch ID because I've not sorted that out. Oops. Uh, so yeah, um, ignore what it says in the card selection screen with regards to your deck. It's this screen that counts is what you want to be best in. You can see this Darren over here has got a uh, pro Daniel Bryan, but this Diego is better. Sometimes it kind of, the game kind of confuses itself into giving you a plus five because your deck does have Survivor Pros in it. And what I've learned is that the more lower deck cards you have, which are you know, getting the same kind of stats, which is why sometimes it's good to use the legendary event card. So in my basis, I would use Ryback from legendary tier, which is an event card to uh, to be my uh, to complete a set with Bubba Ray Dudley. Is that that might potentially mean I face lower leveled opponents? It does track if you're using lots of survivor cards. So what I wouldn't suggest doing is using all survivor cards cards across the deck because the game does track that somehow. I don't know how, and it then puts you against tougher opponents. So it definitely using things like an extra epic pro in there sometimes makes a difference between you facing legendary opponents, epic opponents, or uh, survivor opponents. So that's 1,300 points. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, we do have a King of the Ring reward to get. And I actually came first in this, although I did want to lose. This is brilliant. I was in an eight-man King of the Ring. I came fourth. I did actually say in the King of the Ring chat, I'll show you here. Uh, if we go to two seconds, I'll just get to the, the chat. I just talked about the 21st and new tiers potentially dropping. Uh, it doesn't show you here, but basically what I did was um, I said, well, what what's the point in trying in a King of the Ring when it's coming towards the end? And all the guys in, that t in the, this deck had the, some of the best decks available. So uh, we go to the contenders bracket. I would finish fourth. I beat Chiller. I then beat TDS 2-0 as well. Foo Fighters uh, being by Matt, where he beat Royce, who I was actually really concerned with because he finished above me. And then Matt won the first game. This is comedy, by the way. This is what happens when you try to lose the King of the Ring. I leveled up the first match, which is fine. I uh, lost 3-2. to two, So I was like, yeah, no problems. Just take the game. I didn't level up. And guess what happened? Undertaker procs in power. He gets the charisma battle because he's got Bret Hart. I win toughness because my toughness on that Sasha is OP as hell. And then Daniel Bryan procs in speed and charisma. And none of his cards do. And obviously, Rock is is a awesome charisma card. So I then go into the third game. I level up because I'm thinking, you know what? Let's just give it one more go. We're going to lose. I, I wanted to lose in the second game anyway. Game three. And I'm literally just. He did, didn't bother. I'm guessing that he thought he was going to win no problem. And then it kind of just went against him. So apologies, Matt. Didn't mean to do it. As you saw, I didn't actually have. Uh, any energy on my cards and I still won so I thought we were going to go for one more battle but no problem. So that's came up with Ward and well I don't really have to say anything else other than I just need something that's decent. If it's a Diva like Charlotte or Brie great. If it's anything else then it's pretty much useless unless I get a pro very soon. A Brock or a Rock or a, I don't know an Austin would be great. So that's came up with Ward so five on legendary cards. See what we get. Is it going to be decent? Is it going to be decent? It's going to be a Seth Rollins. Actually you know what? That's not bad, but that does make me feel really bad now that I didn't go for the Seth Rollins card in Team RTG a few, uh, like a month ago or something. But Seth Rollins is a decent award, and he got Stardust as well. So that's King of the Ring Awards. That is the end of PCC. Before you go, I'm going to do a PCC update on the top 50, because I know you guys like that a lot. My rank is 471. I'm going to have to get back on this really, really quickly. Uh, Seth Rollins is at the top. Uh, <laughs> That's slightly coincidental. Uh, Giza is second, Inson third, Keanu fourth, uh, yo Keanu, uh, Darren Wright as well, awesome, Sasha, Dizoni, Black, MTEO 10, Tungurko 18, I don't know how to say that, Raphael, Lord Jalapeno, uh, see him on Twitter, awesome dude, uh, Toy Fair Mark, Jay North, Stone Cold 319, Kevin, X Cord, Talisa, Darren Floop, uh, King Hamad, Vad87, Luca, Dexter Honey, uh, Freddy 15, I think that is. Seidel, uh, Scott, Blood, Nexus, Rus. Why is that guy called Rusev? Cashel 21, Kersey, Eric, uh, Zach, Galaxy, Colts AJD, Zach Woody, Pascal, Christopher, Nathan, Benny X, Gaz, GKGG, Big Al 1099, Domi, Cena, Beast, uh, 
Ray Tweezy, I'm guessing that is, or Twizy, whatever. Uh, Duke Boy, Stack, Matt Jobs is 7, and Brian K, all in the top uh, 50 in a moment. Now, I'm just going to be going for the event card. That's all I'm interested in. So, guys around me, if I can find where I am in the leaderboards. Let's go. For oh, Double D's there. Hey, Double D. How you doing? Uh, and let's find me. 1,300 points. Mongaro, Ivan, Stefan, Arab Prince, Ant125, Tranace, Andre Leonardo. And let's go up. Nick Nomad, Ab Ab Abaddon, Reacher, Rebbe Jr. And more Nakos. And I'll say Sam Snee as well. Hi. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you're going for in PCC. What event or what rewards you're going for. Whether you're going for Bree, whether you went to Charlotte, whether you're disappointed that Charlotte's not winning, or whether you're delighted that Bree Mode is going to win. Well, it looks like it anyway. Uh, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and all that kind of nice, juicy stuff. And I will see you guys very, 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 very soon. Salut.